Good morning. It's around 7.45. I am going on a dog walk. I'm a dog walker. I haven't met this dog before, but it's gonna be good. I thought I would take you along with me today. Um, I don't know. I thought I would take you along with me today. I didn't explain it. <laughs> Okay, that's a bit too close. Okay, there we go. I'm back from my walk. Um, and then I wanted to talk about a couple things with you. But first, I have to do my therapy homework. Um, for those who don't know, I have OCD. I'm very open about it because it's so misunderstood. And so many people don't understand what it's actually like. And because there's so much misinformation about what OCD is truly like, it keeps people from realizing that they might have, have it, which keeps people from... from it keeps people from realizing that they might have it, which keeps people from getting diagnosed, which keeps people from getting help. And so what my homework looks like right now is I set a two minute timer and then I write out the thing that I'm most afraid of over and over and over again. And the idea is that eventually you habituate to it and it becomes less anxiety provoking. So I don't know if you'll be able to read this. Yeah, so this is what I did in the session. Now I'm outside of the session, so what I'm gonna do is set a two minute timer and do that. To be honest, I don't wanna do it. I didn't do it yesterday and time just got away from me, but it's like, it's two minutes, you have time. So I think it was just really that I didn't wanna do it. But that's how you get better is by doing the scary thing. So we're gonna do the scary thing for two minutes. Okay, timer just went off, so I'm done. Um, and here's the deal. So when you do an exposure, it makes you very anxious usually um, until you habituate to that specific fear. So my homework is to do that and then afterwards do a behavioral activation, which is basically any values-based activity for the next hour um, to prove to yourself that you can do things while anxious. Like something that my therapist says to me is like, I don't wanna hear how not anxious you were. I wanna hear all the things you did while you're anxious because it's so possible to live a values-based life and a fulfilling life even when you have anxiety or OCD and it's all about just letting it come with you and then eventually when you're used to taking it with you everywhere it's easier to pay less attention to it because you're like yep that's my anxiety that's my OCD it's coming along today but it's not going to control my day because it's about getting you in the driver's seat of your life instead of OCD and instead it's you driving and OCD is like tied up in the trunk, you know what I mean? Or just sitting in the back seat. I, I don't know why I went that far with it. Switching topics, I had a kind of revelation last night. So I, for the last four years, from ages like 18 to now, which is, I'm 22, um, this is not what it looks like. I've been either dating someone, talking to someone, or seeing someone casually for that whole time, for really four years, like with maybe a few weeks in between max and i just i need to just stop i need i was talking to my therapist she's coming up a lot today and she was like you've been dating so much for the last four years now it's time to eat pray love like now it's time to focus on you um and i just had this realization last night like after deleting my dating app um that would have been more effective if i said dating apps but it was just the one it was just in um and like, who knows, maybe I'll re-download it later today and be like, does anyone like me do this and come pretty? But I deleted it and I was just like, it feels so good to be in my bed, reading my book, going to bed early, not having to text anyone goodnight, not having to, you know, I don't know. I find that when I'm in a relationship or when I'm talking to someone, I'm on my phone so much more because you're like chatting throughout the day. And I don't like that. Like it, it makes me feel like I need to be on my phone. Like I need to be on social media. And when I can just take a step back and be like, no, I just want to read my books. I want to go to bed early. I want to do the activities that I like doing and not have to kind of modify any of my behaviors for another person. Um, so I'm kind of just like falling in love with being single. Like that's what I'm trying to do right now. We'll see how long that lasts. But I think part of it is I tend to value myself more when I'm valued by someone else. Let's sit with that for a second. I tend to think, it's not necessarily that I think better of myself when I'm in a relationship or when I'm with someone, it's more so that when I'm not, I feel less than. Or when I get rejected or if someone ends things with me, I feel so rejected. 
and it's like a pretty intense feeling of rejection and I just need to work on that and work on my issues around shame or jealousy or rejection whatever it is because like obviously I can handle all those things we all do we all go through it but I feel like I'm very sensitive to it and so I'm like okay girl you have some work that needs to be done internally to f to make sure you feel like you're enough as your own but the revelation I had last night is I was just sitting in my bed and I was trying to go to sleep and I was like I'm so like I love like I deserve to be taken care of like anyone else gets is, is, I deserve to be taken care of like anyone else deserves to you know what I mean and that doesn't change based on a relationship that I have with anyone else or anything else like it's just virtue of being human I deserve those things I deserve to be well taken care of I deserve to drink water and eat good food and like move my body and do all these things just because I'm me not because I need to earn it not because someone else thought I was worthy of being taken care of, but just because of who I am. I think about my younger self. If I was babysitting my younger self, so she's like two, three, whatever, and she, like, I would just take care of her. I would take such good care of her. I would be like, oh my god, you're hungry? Okay, we're gonna eat. Like, you wanna take a nap? Okay, let's take a, take a little rest. And it's just harder to uh, treat yourself, your needs when you're older, with the same amount of respect and urgency and importance. Um, but I think it's something I'm getting better at, so I'm really trying to lean into being single. And now what I'm gonna do is make breakfast, and I need to do some, I hate saying this, I was gonna say content stuff, but I edited a bunch of shorts last night, so then I'll get those on my phone and get like the TikTok going so I get the, the subtitle, the captions, whatever. Um, it's very tedious, but it has to be done. So I'm gonna try to do that today and then I'm gonna read my book. I have like, I don't even know how much left. I have like 15% left of A Court of Thorns and Roses. I have not really enjoyed this book, but I'm glad that it's gonna be done because <laughs> I just need it gone. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna make breakfast. Okay, I'm back in my room. I'll show you what I was doing. So basically, I've been dabbling in shorter form content, um, just making my videos into also vertical videos. So I have a bunch of drafts, and I just did nine um, that are ready for upload, and then I can schedule them to upload on YouTube as well as short. It's not like hard work, so this is not like a work day in my life. I'm on winter break. I This gives me something to do. So I am gonna take a little, take a little snoozle, not actually, but get in bed with my dog Louise and we're gonna read. Okay, Louise actually is not gonna make it to the party cause she has poo poo bum, um, but I cleaned her up, but I kinda don't really, not really eager to be under the covers with her <laughs> right now in the state she's in. Okay, I ended up taking a nap and then my friend Kendall came over, so we hung out for a few hours. And I am going to read some more before dinner tonight. We have a family friend coming over. Um, and I'm going to try to go for a run as well. At some point, I was talking to Kendall about like dating and what I was talking about earlier. And I want to do some sort of rule that's like no dating for all of 2024. Because I do love to put myself in a box, unfortunately. And she was like, maybe like no dating apps for 2024. And I was like, wait, that's actually a really good compromise because then the only way something will happen is if it's like natural and there's not the same sort of like constant validation and it doesn't like if you're dating in person it doesn't like reduce someone to an image or a profile so yeah that's my update on that okay i've just been reading for this last little stretch of time and i have just a little bit left but i decided i'm gonna go for a run because it's around five now and we have people coming over din for dinner around six and I don't really feel like running, but I know I'm gonna feel so much better later if I do it now. So yeah, and I'm kind of new to running within like starting this fall. Um, but I really have it been enjoying it. I finally got up to being able to do 30 minutes, um, which is the most I've ever done. But I'm gonna aim for at least 20 today, but that might be being a little ambitious. We'll see. Okay, all ready, all dressed up for my run. And if and you hit me. These are my shoes, and I really like them. I just got them, um, and I'm not like a crazy intense runner, so I don't know if they're actually like good running shoes, but they're the Hoka Clifton 9 ones. Okay, can I be in focus? 
but I can hear it raining outside so I'm feeling a little demure about going out there but I'm gonna make it happen even if I only do five minutes that's more than nothing and if I have to come inside and do the rest on the elliptical or like ride a stationary bike I'll do it but for now I'm just ready to go on my run okay I've done 15 minutes I need to take a little walking break but I'm gonna try to do Oop, I'm in the grass now where am I okay <laughs> I'm going to try to do 15 minutes more after my little break. I'd like to do 30 all in one go, but I'm not going to be too hard on myself. Whew. Okay, run is done. I don't know if anyone else has this happen. Actually, I do know because I've heard people talk about it. But every time I exercise, I get, sorry, I get so bloated afterwards. And I think my body just like retains water. So just know if your body does this too. I was gonna say it's normal, but I don't know if it is. But you're not the only one, that's what I'll give you. Um, it was raining pretty hard. And that was my first run in the rain, so that was fun. And what I was talking about, I ended up doing 30 minutes. I took a couple breaks, but like, I, who cares? You know what I mean? Like, I'm on my own journey, I'm just starting out, I'm... And I, I also think about like, even if you only go for 10 minutes every day, you're still building that 10 minute foundation so that you can build on it later and add like five minutes or go a little faster or whatever so i'm really in the stage of like trying to just build a foundation of being able to go for a run a few times a week have a good time i do get tend to get um hives when i get hot so that's kind of what's going on here and here and here now time to take a shower and put on my pajamas Whew. but you know what i am glad i did it i said i was going to be glad that i did it if i went for a run even though i was feeling pretty lethargic and not really wanting to go and I do feel good. I do feel glad I went. I'm out of the shower, feeling so tired. But I'm eating dinner soon and I'm gonna read my book until people come over to eat. Um, but thank you for coming along with me today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Oh, these are my Christmas jams. That's pretty good. Ooh! No, 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 no. <laughs>